Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. Have you seen that our data sets grow? In this lesson, we're going to learn a new filter node that helps to manage those amounts of data. The last two nodes alone, we collected 3,000 new data points. That's one third more than after the first journal node. This sums up over time. Some of the data might come from our source system, like the delivery address. And some data comes from previous steps in our automation, like the legacy payment terms description. Managing data is key to a good automation. But this wouldn't be a nine course if we wouldn't have a solution for it. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the column filter node. It helps us to get rid of data we don't need anymore. Let me show you how. Let's open up Nine. Okay, so the very next thing we need to do is to filter these columns that we don't need. And you might have guessed it, we find them here in the node repository under manipulation, column, filter. Because that's exactly what we need, a column filter that filters out columns we don't want to use anymore. So once again, select the last node in our workflow, double click to add the column filter, label it, and we want to delete, wait a minute, what do we need? Um, we want to delete, or let's say tidy, we call it tidy calls. So tidy up the columns, right? selected f6 for configuration and you may have seen this concept already before in the lesson about the joiner nodes we basically have an exclude section and an include section there in the joiner node we had it twice because we had two tables here we only have it once and i tend to call the red part here the exclude um basically something like the kill columns so what do we want to delete the payment terms description goes over here and we also don't need the delivery address anymore and that's basically it we just move it from left to right right to left wherever we want it and then we just say okay we hit f7 to execute and done we got rid of these columns now we know how to manage data no longer endless tables with information nobody is looking at you now have a grasp on unnecessary data and know how to remove it. This filter is helpful in many ways. I use it in nearly every workflow I create and I bet you will too. In the next lesson, we are going to reorder the columns using the column resorter node. This gives us a more meaningful way to look at our data. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with Nime. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.